point to this uh, plot line of blaming the media. I want to run uh, just a collection of that uh, for you to, to make the point that the message is getting through at least the Republican ranks. It's the media doing what the media does, which, which is any, any narrative that they can twist against Trump, they will do so. There's a lot of blame to go around. And yes, I think uh, uh, social media and mainstream media has a lot to do with why we communicate like this. Well, we have seen the media uh, be unprecedented in their negative coverage of this president. The president's right in saying, let's have civility in our news coverage. Let's have some um, fair-minded news coverage in this country and not have the bias. Eli, I'd like to think uh, uh, thus far the media have pointed out the correlation between the list of, uh, of bombs and the recipients. And what they have in common is they are critics of the president and targets of the president. This would be a really good uh, time uh, to keep tensions down. Right. And I think targets of the president is the most important thing. I mean, Maxine Waters, George Soros, the president a week ago at a rally insinuated that George Soros uh, was potentially paying uh, the, the people in the caravan, which he has made a central campaign issue. So he is riling people up about this. And the whataboutism that you hear from the White House and on down from Republicans uh, is typical of, of the sort of explanations we've seen in other situations like this, where there's a lot of blame shifting and misdirection and saying, it's actually the media's fault. Uh, and you're just not going to see anything different than that. There are not going to be very many calls uh, from Republicans uh, on the president to be uh, actually unifying. The president himself uh, at his rally in Wisconsin last night kind of gave a wink and a nod a couple times to the crowd. Aren't I being nice right now? He was basically telling them uh, that the calls for unity, his quote, being presidential, that that was a put on, that that was an act, that it was temporary. And so you're just not going to see Republicans try to correct that because they are completely bought in uh, to what is sort of an election season uh, campaign approach that is all about sowing division, driving that wedge, uh, complaining about Democrats, portraying them as a, as a mob. Uh, and they're not going to step back from that. They believe that it's about winning and losing. The president himself measures things in terms of wins and losses. Did he regret insulting Senator Cruz? No, he said the other day, it worked out nicely for me because I won. Did he regret uh, mocking Christine Blasey Ford? No, he told Leslie Stahl, because it turned out that Kavanaugh was confirmed. This is about wins and losses, not moral leadership for this president. There's an election in less than two weeks. That is the focus for him and for Republicans. You're not going to see a change. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other other great videos.